In this video, I am going to make it clear that how to write the synthesis and characterization part of your research article. Synthesis means you are making something. Characterization means you are doing some analysis in order to know that whether you achieve your desired shape, structure, material or not. Synthesis means making something. But this synthesis world is different than fabrication. Fabrication means that when you are combining many parts to get some prototype, some final product that is called fabrication. This is a big mistake every researcher is doing. They just put in the title instead of fabrication sometimes synthesis and sometimes instead of synthesis they just put fabrication. A big mistake I heard from I, I, I seen in professors, students title, thesis titles or research article titles. Synthesis means that you are getting, you want to synthesize, make nanofiber, a single thing or a nanoparticle, this is called synthesis. But if you want to make device, sensors, that is fabrication, there is a huge difference. Characterization means you want to know that you are doing something wrong or you are doing something uh, good. So this is a tool to test. Uh, that whether you are achieving something good or not. So let us go and see how I write my uh, 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 synthesis and characterization part. Now in my previous video I just talked about introduction. This is the introduction here and I explained that how to write introduction. Now let's come to the synthesis and characterization part. In this synthesis and characterization part we just need to explain that how we synthesize make our material and what were the techniques we use to confirm that the achieved material, the achieved nanoparticle or nanofibers, whether it was a fiber, whether it was a nanoscale, whether it was a crystalline or not crystalline. So we have to talk about the method we use, how we make this material, this is called synthesis and to, to do analysis that whether our materials are correct or not. So these are called characterizations. Okay. So we all, all we also need to write the machine's name and the method we use. And briefly, look now. The SNA2 multiforce nanofibers were synthesized by electrospinning method. Is report before? I do not need to write about electrospinning because a literature is full from this topic. So electrospinning here. In brief, uh, the 10 precursor concentration. We use this precursor concentration. Then we just transform the solution to syringe by electrospinning and we keep these parameters there. You see here, these were the parameters in our electrospinning machines here. This. Very briefly, if somebody wants to read my paper, so he or she can easily understand that what were my parameters. That's a very clear thing. Yes. This is for people beneficial. Now, once I use this, then I achieve my morphology very quickly. I do not need to put full detail and just uh, you see we we, gen, we just study the morphology this means the morphology means the surfaces of the synthesized nanoparticle with this machine uh, field electron microscope field emission you see and I want to mention here you must need to write the name of the machine this is Joel uh, from USA so this this is very crucial you must need to need know uh, the people and when we did this characterization, what were the size of the uh, fibers? The size of the fiber were you see uh, in 200 to 600 nanometer. You see, and it was before annealing. Annealing means heat treatment. When we did annealing of the nanowires or nanofibers, so uh, we got uh, porous nanofiber, multiporous. You see, there were multi holes. You see, and I just explained further stuff here. Let's come down here synthesis part uh, uh, you see the base crystallinity of the material were studied by x-ray diffraction and I just give the name of that machine that the phase or the crystallinity of the nanoparticle the nanofibers were studied by using XRD uh, using this uh, cover K alpha uh, uh, the wavelength is this much angstrom you see almost one and a half angstrom wavelength here you see and we also further uh, characterize this uh, uh, synthesized material uh, by uh, uh, using the uh, transmission electron microscopy here you see 
uh, in uh, what was the operating parameters? Uh, 300 kilovolts, very high voltage. So electron will move very faster, very, very faster electron. So they can pass from the material. You see, transmit. It will transmit the material. And what were the <laughs> machine name? Is This is the machine name. So this was the brief overview and synthesis and characterization part. You need to write briefly how you synthesize your material, what were the solutions, what were the solution parameters, and which machine you use. Talk about those machines a little bit. I mean, the, not the machines. The, 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 the parameter you choose, uh, the, the, the voltage you choose, uh, the distance you keep, these kind of things. And once you achieve the materials, that is called synthesize, you make, you, you make this, then you characterize, you analyze. Uh, you did analysis, you did uh, investigation, examination, whether the material is correct or not, or whether it is fiber or not, because uh, uh, we first choose our desired material that we need to get flower shape or rod shape or fiber shape or wire shape. So this is all about the experimental part and that is the synthesis and characterization. You must need to write the machine's name and uh, how, uh, what were the parameters of the, that machines and uh, also need to write about uh, the synthesis part in uh, synthesis mean you are <coughs> making something characterization mean you are testing you are examining you are uh, exploring investigation that whether the material is your desired material or not okay thanks for watching